Welcome back to Off the Grid. In our last episode, we calculated exactly the right sized battery to supply our cabin with electricity for 24 hours. That's pretty good. But it's not good enough because the next morning, after 24 hours had passed, we'd have to recharge that battery again. And we'd have to do that every day. That's sort of like living paycheck to paycheck. If something goes wrong, if I lose my job, it's going to get harder and harder to pay my bills. Sooner or later, somebody's going to turn out my electricity. Out here, it's the same problem. If we let our batteries run down, and the next morning we've got a snowstorm, and our solar panels are covered, we're not going to be able to generate any electricity. And pretty soon, our lights are going to go out. Now, there are four ways to deal with this problem. And they're not that different from the way we deal with our family finances at home. Option one would be to borrow in the hope that someday we could pay it back. In our analogy, that would mean borrowing from our hypothetical battery. It's not a particularly good option because our battery is already low. It needs to be recharged, not discharged. Option two, we can cut back on our spending. In our analogy, we're spending watts. So if we can cut back on electricity consumption, we can make those batteries last a little bit longer. Option three is to increase our ability to save what we produce. Using our analogy, that would mean adding a battery or two that would allow us to store more of the energy that our panels produce. Now that's a viable strategy, but it's limited by how much electricity our panels can provide us. So in the end, we're going to have more batteries that still need to be recharged. Option four would be to get another job, a second job. That might mean adding solar panels. It could mean putting in a micro hydro unit like this one if you have available water. Or it could mean buying a generator. It was capable of recharging your batteries. Now, let me tell you what we did and didn't do. First, we put in four six volt batteries, wired in a series so that we had a 24 volt battery bank. That change gave us 200 amp hours of usable electricity. That allows us to go for a little over three days without having to recharge. Second, we reduced our use of computers and our satellite internet. That allowed us to stretch our energy budget even further. Three, we did not increase the number of solar panels. We have four. They generate a total of 800 watts of energy an hour. We figured adding more solar panels wouldn't help if they're all covered with snow anyway. Four, well, I think you can hear it. We installed a micro hydro generator, 24 volts, just like our batteries, and it runs 24 seven. Really handy when there's no sun for the solar panels. Now, we also bought a propane generator, but you know what, between the solar panels in this micro hydro unit, we never had to turn it on. Do your own calculations and figure out which configuration works best for you. You'll probably find that two or three of the options we just talked about will work. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on our next trip across the river.